Praise the Lord and welcome to HUR at Home Inspiration. I'm Jackie Gales Webb and every Sunday at 6 p.m. we have inspiration for you from some very talented leaders, entertainers, pastors, singers, just you name it, just very interesting people, very delightful people, and wait till you hear who I have today. Today, the day before Martin Luther King's national holiday, a day in which we honor and recognize the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. On Dr. King Day in the past, we have volunteered we have gone to prayer breakfasts at churches and enjoyed everyone singing and remembering the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King. Many of us here in the Washington DC area venture over to the Smithsonian National uh, African American Museum, Museum of African American History and Culture. Not tomorrow, tomorrow uh, DC is on lockdown. It has been on lockdown ever since pretty much Friday. Um, people are being stopped at checkpoints. One gentleman was stopped at a checkpoint. Not only did he have a pistol, but he had 500 rounds of ammunition. What was he up to? So we are being advised not to go in town if we're not in town. And if we're in town, stay at home and take care and take shelter. But you still can celebrate and enjoy the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King through prayer, through volunteering online or in person if you can safely because of COVID-19. And there's lots of things for you to watch. I saw something last night that was simply fantastic. It's called MLK FBI. It's a film directed by Sam Pollard and it's really a great documentary about Dr. Martin Luther King and how he was surveilled by the FBI. Also this week, I watched this wonderful HBO show, One Night in Miami, and it was directed by uh, Regina King. And it, it centered around a meeting between Sam Cooke and Jim Brown and Cassius Clay, as we all know is Muhammad Ali, and also Malcolm X. And Leslie Odom played Sam Cooke, and he sang A Change Is Gonna, gonna Come. I'm telling you if, you, if you watch it, it gives you chills. He just did such a wonderful job. Leslie Odom uh, played Aaron Burr in Hamilton, and uh, he's a talent to be reckoned with. He, people are already talking about the Oscar for him. And then coming up January 21st, after the inauguration, of course, you know, the inauguration is going to happen January 20th. That's why I have on my pearls today, my Kamala Harris pearls. We, we're all going to be wearing pearls on inauguration day. But on January 21st, it is the premiere of The Rev on the USA Network. And I am so thrilled to have with me today from Long Island, New York, the star of The Rev. His name is Richard Hartley. Welcome to Richard Hartley and his daughter, Judea. Hello yeah. there. How are you, Jackie? Hi. Thank you for having us. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm, I'm just so thrilled that uh, you're going to have this TV show on USA Network called yes. The Rev, and it's going to feature your family, not only Judea, but your wife and the whole family, right? Yes, my wife, my son, my daughter, and my church, my family, and my friends, our pets, everybody's in it. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we want to know about you. Uh, for those who don't know about uh, Richard Hartley, um, tell us about you. Where were you born? Where, were you, where did you grow up? And uh, how did you get into the ministry? And how did you get into doing such wonderful work with gospel music? Sure. Well, Jackie, I grew up in a housing project in Queens, New York, Rockway Beach, New York, in Queens with uh, my mother. We were a single parent family. And my mother was a religious woman, so she took us to church. I think she had a drug problem because she drug us there every day. <laughs> and she took, us, <laughs> she took us to church. We were one of those families that were in church about five days out of the week. I mean, mm -hmm. Jesus is not in church five days out of the week, mm -hmm. but we were there. And being there, 
it sort of fostered our musical talents. I could sing and play, my brother could sing and play, my sister. So we became the church musicians at five and six years old. We was like the little Jackson Five and little Silvers. And so we was the little Hartleys. And I grew up there and for 20 years I directed choirs. I was in charge of the choir from maybe five to 25 years old. Interesting story, I got an opportunity to sing in Mama I Wanna Sing, longest running off-Broadway black musical. That experience and that opportunity offended my church. And so we were excommunicated out of the church because it was too secular to be singing really? on you really yeah, I saw Mama Jackie. I want to sing. It was wonderful. Mama it, I want to sing. I remember that well. Jackie wants to sing. <laughs> and it was it was it was gospel, but you know they were very traditional minded. It didn't fit in with that with their ideology. Is that right? That's right. And so it was okay with me because I had gone to college. I had graduated with my bachelor's in psychology and I was doing my graduate work in counseling. And then Mama Wanna Sing came along and we went on the road. And I mean the road. We went to Japan and to Italy and to England and to Switzerland, Turkey. I'm in Turkey, Istanbul, singing gospel in Turkey. I've been to Australia, to Africa, mm -hmm. everywhere, Jamaica Avenue. You know about Jamaica Avenue, mm -hmm. Jackie, you know about that. And yes, we went. We went everywhere. And then I earned a reputation for training choirs because that was my mm -hmm. passion. And that took me to megastars. You know, I did choirs for Diana Ross and Double Platinum with Brandy and worked with Michael Jackson and Andre Crouch, choirs and choirs for Mariah Carey, you know, and uh, choirs in Japan, choirs in Australia, Africa. We've been to Japan 150 times, mm -hmm. 150 times. Wow. So was that you with the choir and Michael Jackson on uh, Man in the Mirror? No, we were doing, all I want to say is that they don't really care about us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, that was that We part. have uh, Monica James with us. She's saying hello. Ruth uh, Wimzet Jones, uh, Blanche Wiggins is saying hello. My Thank goodness. you for joining us, everybody. Yvette Washington is here. Uh, Richard, tell us what was it like performing with Diana Ross? Diana Ross is the boy. She was lovely. First of all, she smelled better than anyone I've ever smelled in my life. <laughs> she smelled like heaven. That daddy. Well, she did. <laughs> she, I mean, she said, hi, and I almost passed out. She smelled like heaven. She was so gracious and so kind to us. And Jackie, I didn't know she was aware of my name. And we were doing a live rehearsal. And Diana Rose said, Richard. She said, skip me my note. I what fell out on daddy? the floor. I fell straight out on the floor. <laughs> I stopped the whole production and everything. She was wonderful. She was so considerate of the choir. It was just one of the best experiences, I'm trying to tell you. She smelled like love. I saw her at the Kennedy Center uh, the last time I saw her. Matter of fact, I, I used to see her back at the Westbury Music Fair mm -hmm. when I was a child out in Long Island. But the last time I saw her was at the Kennedy Center. She must have changed clothes about 10 times. Just for that. Wow. It's a fashion show. You know, it's everything working with Diana Ross. And on this scene, she changed clothes. You know, it was for an ABC movie called Double Platinum that she did with Brandy. And we were the backing choir in that movie. What was it like working with Andre Crouch? Andre Crouch is brilliant. And we clowned around so bad, Andre Crouch. Andre Crouch laughs more than I thought because he's so focused with the music that he spends most of the time having fun. Then he just gets down and, and, and just gets the music done and really anointed. It was such a pleasure to work with. Really iconic. Wow. Yeah. So you're, you're you know, traveling with uh, different groups. You're appearing with choirs on, you know, David Letterman show and Soul yeah. mm -hmm. and Grammy Awards. Yeah. How did this uh, television show come about? How did you and your family get to have a reality show on USA Network? See, Jackie, what had happened was, <laughs> <laughs> see, what had happened was, honestly, you know, I tell people all the time, in this world, God has created us the way we are. Yes. And you should be your authentic self. And so when I do choir rehearsal, they say I'm a tyrant. Yes. Am I? But daddy, you know, you look extra. Well, okay, whatever. And I trained difficult. I had a friend of mine that said, Richard, I want to come to your choir rehearsal and tape film you teaching choirs because this is crazy. Mm -hmm. I said, well, come on, film me. So he came and he didn't have a ring light. He came in with a little Kodak camera. Daddy. You know those cameras that- the, Daddy, they from Rite Aid. The cameras- well, they From the pharmacy. Mm -hmm. And he- <laughs> <laughs> he took The camera from the pharmacy. Right, you know CBS. And he filmed us choir rehearsal and he sent it to a friend, a friend. A friend sent it to another friend. 
That friend knew an agent. Agent sent to a production company in Hollywood. Lifetime came to New York. They filmed me. Yeah. And then the tape went to Oprah to yes. own. She asked for it. Then we did a face to face with Netflix. Yes. Then the USA Network got a wind of it and outbid everybody. Yes. And so we went with the USA Network. And just from a simple yes, a yes can get you where you want to go. Yes. A simple yes, come to rehearsal. I'm just going to be myself. Now we have an entire Hollywood production show. It's just destiny. That's what it is. Wow. Yeah. So unbelievable. If you, if you have a question for uh, Richard or, or Jania, just write it in the text and I'll see it and I'll make sure that they know that you're asking that question. So is there a script? How does it work with reality television? Do they well, just this, talk to you or is there a script or what happens? You know what, Jackie? I wouldn't really call this reality. I would say it's situational. Yeah. And what they did, and I worked in tandem with the network, mm -hmm. and what we did was give them our life situations. Mm -hmm. For instance, my wonderful daughter right here. Daddy? She collects college degrees. She doesn't <laughs> have a job, but she collects them. So she has a bachelor's in political science. Oh. She has a master's in journalism. Hmm. She has another master's in public relations. Excellent. And she just applied, not excellent, she just applied for her doctorate, but she doesn't have a job. <laughs> and her job is going to school. Daddy, I'm a professional student. Professional. And then I have my son who is a self-taught musician. He plays multiple instruments. Yeah. Thing is, he doesn't start practicing at 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> wow. Then I have my wife who is a licensed nurse. She yeah. is a nurse, but I think she's trying to kill me. Daddy, stop it. She's a nurse, and she runs the hotel here because she, she cleans their clothes. She cooks their, their food. She cooks their food, and she washes up everything, and she pampers them. No, Daddy. It's true. Okay, Judea, what is he not telling us? Because you keep saying no. Daddy, I Daddy thinks I'm a professional student, but I'm telling Daddy, Daddy, this is the season where the Lord has called you to support me. I've been supporting Daddy. you for 400 years. <laughs> like Daddy no. is supporting me during my educational endeavors. That never cease. They mm. never cease. <laughs> when are you going to graduate and get a job? Daddy, you want me here. I'm sorry, audience. Talk amongst yourselves. We're having a moment. You have to get a job. Daddy knows he wants me here. To keep him company. Jackie, he knows that. Jackie, you see my struggle? Miss Jackie, daddy wants me here, so I just obey. I know, I know, I know, because as soon as you leave, there's going to be melancholy and, and, and all kinds of things. <laughs> it's going to be a <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so, and so that's how the show you, came about. Were you all taping these situations during the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, or was it before? Well, you know, we started for production a couple of months before pandemic and then pandemic came and we had to shut down production. Yeah. And so we were shut down for four, four months yeah. or something like that. Yeah. And then USA in the show of confidence said, we're not canceling the show. We're coming back. So they sent the entire crew back mm -hmm. from L.A., from Atlanta, mm -hmm. from Virginia. You know and yeah. And then we filmed even during pandemic with CDC regulations. And we took all precautionary measures. And so we had to change some of the things, like you were saying about DC. We couldn't venture out, you know, to certain things. So we filmed at the house and we filmed at the church, and it was really a wonderful experience. It was fantastic. So, so how is my uh, hometown, Long Island, uh, doing during all of this COVID nineteen and what's going on in the nation's capital? What what is the atmosphere there in uh, uh, Rockaway and and where you are? Uh, yeah. in Long Island. Well, you know, you can feel and see the strain on the people. People are concerned about the fate of the nation. Uh, you know, we've had so many people that we lost to COVID. Personally, uh, my biological sister passed last yes. year. And then I had my bonus sister who's been in the family for 50 years. She passed. And then my sister at the church for the last 16 years, he was only 39 years old. He passed. And this all happens within one month. Yes. In the same month. So it's been such a strain. It's been such a struggle. But God has really sustained us. And our faith has sustained us in a lot of laughter, you know. And so I can sense people's burden. So this show is going to be good because it's feel good TV. There's nothing scandalous. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not green leaf. It's true. <laughs> no. 
Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Oprah. <laughs> it, it's it's not green leaf. It's I I would say, Jackie, it's a throwback to the '90s black sitcoms. You know, it's a mixture of like the Jeffersons yeah. meet at two two seven. They all say amen. They having a good times, and they didn't invite the Cosby's. <laughs> <laughs> You want your audience to leave inspired and feeling good, right? That's right. Excellent. That's right. Excellent. Yeah. And so um, you also, I've been playing on um, WHUR, uh, Highway to Heaven. Yeah. Recording of yours. Yes. So is there going to be an album? Are you just releasing that single? Or what's going to happen with that? What's happening? We're going to release that single simultaneously when, when the show debuts. And the unique thing about that song, Jackie, is that the backing choir on that song is the Tokyo Mass Choir. They're all Japanese singers. But if you was to close your eyes, you would think you was listening to the Howard University Gospel Choir, which I'm very familiar with. You should know. You yeah. know? And so it's great because they're singing that song with me. So we're going to release both of them simultaneously, the show and the song. Mm -hmm. And I hear, heard in that song uh, a Michael Jackson riff. <laughs> Daddy, I, you get that. <laughs> Daddy thinks he has rhythm, but he doesn't. No, Daddy, you do have rhythm. You just can't dance. You got here. I did something. No. So, Judea, tell, tell us. Uh, uh, Richard told us about the rest of the family. You tell us about the rest of the family. Your mom, your brother. So this is Joe Jackson. <laughs> Where is it? Daddy. Get those towels out that pool. Michael. <laughs> this is Joe. And or or sometimes daddy, I call daddy Ike. If you don't sing daddy, if you if I don't sing Nutbush the right way, uh-uh. This is Joe Ike Turner. <laughs> And mommy is Miss Daisy. She, I don't know what, I don't know what mommy, she's, she's somewhere, somewhere praying. praying. She's in prayer. I mean, mommy, prayer is her profession. My brother is like the house ghost. You don't see him till four o'clock. I don't know what's going on, Miss Jackie. You don't see Jordan till four o'clock in the morning. When it's time to eat. Or when it's time to eat. I mean, he just disappears. <laughs> you don't even know he's there. And I'm the loud one of the house. I keep everybody together. Okay. All right. Daddy, yes, I do. Miss Jackie, they come together because I'm loud in my personality. My laughter heals them. Daddy, tell the people. What are you talking <laughs> So, So, Judea, what is a service like when your father has a church service? I mean, is it funny or what happens? No, Daddy, I'm telling the truth. A, a regular Sunday morning church service at the Great Haven International Ministries is filled with a lot of glitter and fur and gold and Gucci and Fox or whatever daddy, whatever else daddy brings to the service. Daddy's very loud. So daddy takes all of him wherever he goes. So it's filled. I mean, it's, it's definitely not boring, but it's spirit filled. It's spirit filled. It is, daddy. Is very spirit filled. Did you meet I'm glad you said that because at the beginning of what you said, it sounded like RuPaul's Drag Race. No, they, we got some of those too. Daddy, <laughs> they need Jesus too. They there, you know they there. So, uh, so in the series, we'll get a chance to see one of these services or your services too, right? Well, you know, yeah, we did some of that. You know, pandemic poses challenges. You know, mm -hmm. but as the season goes on, you see more and more of it. You know, you can see more and more of that. I can't wait. Yeah. January 21st at 10.30 p.m.? 10.30 Eastern Standard. Right. Eastern Standard Time. Everybody yeah. tell all your friends to tune into the USA Network and watch Richard Hartley and Judea and the rest of the family. Yes. On the ref. Yes. Thank you so all much. Right. Yes. So, Richard, normally uh, we end these conversations. I ask my guests to uh, give us a prayer. Mm -hmm. uh, we here in D.C. want to want tomorrow to be reflective mm -hmm. and productive and a great tribute to Dr. Martin Luther King. Yes. We are praying for safety for mm -hmm. um, the president elect and vice president elect on inauguration day. And as you know, because it's happening in your area, many of us are suffering because we've lost loved ones due mm -hmm. to COVID-19. And many are suffering. So, Reverend Hartley. Yes, ma'am. Give us a prayer. 
Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you because we trust you. God, we thank you because we know that you know all things. Nothing is hidden from you. Nothing is too hard for you to do. God, we ask that you look down on this nation, America. God, send us peace and unity in the name of Jesus. God, focus on our nation's capital, Lord. Let the transition be smooth and easy. We speak against violence. We speak against racism. God, we thank you for unity. We thank you for the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., for certainly we are reflective of his dream. God, we thank you for this woman of God that's doing ministry via radio, internet, and social media. God, we ask that you bless her and let her message of peace and hope be spread even all around this country. God, we ask that you look on the inauguration, protect our president-elect, protect our vice president-elect. God, give them wisdom, guide their mind, guide their hands in the precious name of Jesus. And God, we believe you for everything we're doing. For the Bible says, if my people whom I call by my name would humble themselves and seek my face, turn from their wicked ways. Then you promise to heal our land. God, we're looking for you to do it because we know that only you can. We pray all these blessings in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Richard Judea, thank you so much. Thank will you. Thank you. Come back after you get all the Emmys and, and Golden Globes and everything, yeah. you please come back and join us. Well, I'll have your people call my people. And Robin, oh. the spirit, Rob, where's Robin? Robin, you know you have the spirit, so you call me. I can't see you, but I can hear you. Robin is the Holy Ghost. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's there, but you don't we see him. We don't her. see him. Right. Don't Robin him. is our producer. <laughs> Thank you both. You all be safe. Enjoy and Bless enjoy you. the premiere. What are you going to do premiere night? You're going to be at home watching yourself? Well, you know, we're going to do some social distancing, but have some physical intimacy. Here. So we're going to have a little watch party with some of the family, because I already know what their sicknesses are, so I'm already immune to it. Especially right. my wife. She can't kill me. She's been trying for years. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, we're going to be there with you, and 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 thank you. Thank you so much, and thank, thank you, you so George much. Turner and Marianne Drone and uh, Patricia G and uh, Patrick G. I'm sorry. I said Patricia. Patrick G and George Turner for joining us today. Amen. And everybody, please take care. Be safe. Keep God in your view and on yes. your minds and in your hearts. Keep your eyes on the prize. Don't let the devil distract you. That's right. And of all things, please be safe. Amen. God bless you. And bless you, Sunday here on you, H-U-R at Home Inspiration.